Hello, welcome to another Open Heavens Reflections on this glorious day. I pray that in this year of the overflow, your blessings will multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Abiyo Yeshego. I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Majestic Court of Praise in Wembley. Today, our topic is the cost of eternal life. And our Bible passage is taken from Matthew chapter 13, from verses 45 to 46. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Our memory verse is from Mark 9, 47. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. The cost of eternal life cannot be overestimated. The price is so important that Jesus, in his parable, likened it to a man who was seeking a beautiful pearls, and when he had found it, went and sold all he had to be able to buy it. He speaks volumes about the price of eternal life. Jesus also told the people that listened to him in the book of Mark that the kingdom of God is so important that it is better to lose everything we have in order to have it. He charged the people that if their eyes will make them miss the kingdom, they need to struggle to get in there, even if they will get there without eyes. What are those things that you're holding dear to and making you to lose your salvation? Is it idolatry? Is it lies? Is it adultery? You need to check your life. My brother, my sister, the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world? and lose his life. The book of Revelation 21.8 says, But the cowardly, the unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexual immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake with bonds, with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The life we live in now will soon pass away. But is it sensible to allow our current life which is determinable to ruin our eternal, eternal life? It does not make sense. That is the reason that you have to give up everything that is alluring you to go to hell today. Please stop believing the lies of the devil that wants you to believe that everything is about the enjoyment of this life. Heaven is real and hell is real. Reject hell today and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you'll be charting your pathway to heaven. It is a decision that you have to make for yourself because no one will make it for you. Ask the Lord today to save you and deliver you from going to hell. Forsake all the things that are put, pulling you to hell. If it is the friendship that you are keeping that is going to make you to go to hell, please cut off those friendships. If it is money, please avoid them by all means. The Bible says that those who will confess Jesus with their mouth will surely be saved. I pray for your salvation today. And I pray that the Lord will keep you. And when those who are going to be received into his kingdom are called, you will surely not be rejected. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. It is never too late. Please take heed and act accordingly. Our action point today is this. You're going to, it's going to be in form of a prayer. And you're going to say, Father, please grant me strength in my inner man to stop doing whatever I'm doing that will make me a candidate for hell in the name of Jesus. And I pray that the Almighty God, as you pray it, will answer that prayer because it sees your innermost being, your heart. God bless you. Thank you for listening to us. Have a glorious day. Bye.